All right, welcome back to LearnWire. I wanted to make a quick video for you on seowriting.ai, a brand new update that a lot of you will be curious about. For the longest time, the 4.0, uh, ChatGPT 4.0 was not available and it would always say coming soon. This software has been out for months and it's been kind of in that holding stage where you actually were only able to use 3.5. But today is a really cool day. This just got released, I don't know, either today or just very recently. Um, and we have now GPT-4 8K high quality. This will cost 10 times the cost. We're gonna go ahead and use some of our credits and test this out. Now, if you hook your own API up to this, you can, and this is beta as well. So I wouldn't really recommend this until they're for sure, for sure about this. Test at your own uh, you know, discretion, at your own risk. This is going to be the 128K right here, GPT-4. But today we're going to be trying this GPT-4 8K uh, option. This is high quality. It's going to cost 10 times the amount of credits. So I am going to select that. This is where you would put in your open API if you wanted to. Okay, so we'll go up and we'll create an article. Um, uh, and just to show you, so over here in SEO Writing AI, one of my websites over here, you can see that I've published one, two, three, four, five. And three of those rank, three of those articles are ranking in uh, on page two or page one. So one of them is page one, and the other two are page two. Four uh, keywords that actually get tra uh, search traffic. So uh, this tool definitely works. You can definitely go and pick this up. I will have a link below if you want to go pick this tool up. The link will be below if you're interested in seowriting.ai and use coupon code LEARNWIRE right here, LEARNWIRE, and you will get an additional 25% off. I believe that that is grandfathered in, so monthly that literally will be 25% off of your order. Just use coupon code LEARNWIRE. Okay, so let's go get a keyword for this real quick, and we're going to go ahead and use building your confidence as a freelancer. I'm going to copy that. We're going to go into seowriting.ai. I'm going to put my keyword in right over here, and it's no longer control uh, V for pasting. It's command V for pasting now. Now that I'm a Mac user, I got to be honest, guys, it is a really hard thing to move from uh, PC to Mac. This is, It is pretty tough. That's all, I can, all I'm going to say. Maybe I'll make a video after using it for a month or two or maybe a six month update, something like that. But, um, you know, it's definitely one of those things that it's, it has enough differences that um, it can be kind of not necessarily frustrating, but it definitely is um, you, you are definitely out of your comfort zone if you switch between the different types of uh, computers. Right. Um, but I'm going to for the first time, I really am going to give it a fair shot. Um, one thing that I do like is that everything seems to be working and my computer is nice and solid and working. It's very smooth and very, very fast. And that is what is most important to me right now is that I can arrive at my desk every day and have something that actually works. All right. And I know that there's a lot of people that are huge PC fans and uh, they couldn't believe or they can't believe that someone would ever want to switch from a PC to a Mac to each their own, right? Um, all right, so we're gonna keep moving on. So we have our main keyword, we have our title right here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the title as the same thing as well. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just fix this up real quick. And I'll just go something like this, um, full guide or something like that, step-by-step -step guide, uh, maybe something like that. Okay, so we've got a title and article size. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go, I already put this in our Neuron Writer because we're gonna be checking this out as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in here I, I kind of want to see what the um, the amount of words that it is saying that we're going to be needing for this. And let's go over here. So it says 1,500 words. So I'm going to come back over here. Um, I'm thinking that we might need to move this over to small. And I'm going to be happy with that. So we're going to go small right over here. Uh, we can keep this at friendly, uh, no problem, point of view. We'll go second person. We'll go United States. And uh, conclusion, yes, tables, yes, H3s, lists, key takeaways, um, FAQs, I'm going to go ahead and leave those off, and bold, yes. Connect to web, all, I usually always do that, source links, uh, why not, let's put those in this time, search uh, source, real-time search uh, results, I'm going to leave it on default right there, document publication, we can actually have this published uh, right away, so I'm going to go ahead and, why not, let's go ahead and publish that. And this is going to be under, I'm just going to put it under people ask, also ask. 
And then we like we like we said we have the GPT four eight K right here, and we're ready to uh, rock. Um, I would suggest putting a run button down here at the bottom, uh, so we don't have to scroll all the way up to the top in order to push run. But here we go. We're gonna push run. It's gonna go build our article, and we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's take a look. Uh, looks like we have an error. Hopefully, that's just an error on the publishing side of things. Um, that's okay. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and click on this. So we do have the article written. Uh, let's see how many words. We've got 2,500 words. So see, that's why I select small. <clears throat> if we would have selected medium, this could have went over 3,000 words. So I, I selected small. Uh, we can look at the meta right here, but it looks like uh, if I go over to the site, um, we'll just go see if this actually published on the site. It did not publish on the site. So that's what the uh, the error is. Um, so yeah, I'll have to go check the connection and uh, make sure that that is uh, good, but nothing that we can't uh, handle. We can just go and uh, copy and paste it over into the website. Building your confidence as a freelance step-by-step -step guide. Uh, you know, just the structure of these articles are really, really good. I would say that this is definitely one of the best as far as the content that it the out, um, outputs. We even got quotes right here and so forth. It looks really good. We got a table. Uh, so everything looks really good as far as the content and all the tables and so forth. Really, really like that. A lot of tables. And then we have our source links right here. So that's kind of cool. It might bring some, a little bit of credibility and we have our conclusion right over there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go and I'm going to copy, let's see, we're going to copy the whole thing and go into neuron writer and I'm going to paste that into neuron writer and then building your confidence as a freelance writer. We'll go ahead and grab this H1 and copy. You have to. Uh, come up here to the title section and put that in right over here as well and push save and continue. And then we can see where we're at. So you're looking at a 59, almost 60 article right out of the gates. <clears throat> super, super cool. Nothing to complain about there. Um, you know, using GPT-4, I mean, we have other tools that we've used this in. So this isn't going to be like a, a major surprise. Uh, we have Agility that's already been using GPT-4 for a really, really long time. Uh, Koala, um, other tools as, as well. Um, and so just by using, uh, going from 3.5 to 4 doesn't mean that your SEO scores are going to be um, necessarily higher. Um, if we do 3.5, you're going to get around the same score, maybe around a 55. So maybe it's a little bit better, but it's not like it's night and day difference, right? Um, I'm going to click in here and look at the readability as well. So our readability uh, right here at 22 is actually really low. So this is college graduate. It's very, very, um, so this, uh, the lower the score, the more technical the writing is. As you can see, a 10th grade level right here is a 56. So if you can get in the 50s or 60s, your content is uh, just going to be better. And really, it's not really, uh, from what I've heard, it's not an actual technical ranking factor. But what it is, is uh, people staying on your page and understanding your content um, and how long they stay on your page is a ranking factor. So in turn, means that readability is important. Um, so it's kind of like a second tier ranking factor, if you will. Uh, so this is definitely uh, a very low in the 20s. I mean, this we need to be at 35 or higher, in my opinion, right there. Uh, so it, it's got a, a low uh, reading score. Uh, what we could do is copy this, uh, paste it into Hemingway, and then make some improvements and so forth, right? So I uh, just wanted to see what we could get right over here. Now that we have the 2,500 words right over here, um, you know, instead of adding an FAQ, I mean, this is already long enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and as a test, I'm going to go ahead and publish this on the site and see if we get some rankings with straight out of the gate GPT-4 uh, content from straight from SEO writing.ai. And I will track that and give you guys an update if we can get this ranking soon. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys the, uh, the heads up and the update that the GPT-4, there's two options there. Um, for SEO writing.ai, it's definitely a step in the right direction. This tool is really, really um, neat. One thing that I uh, forgot to do was possibly add a video in here and add the images in here as well, which uh, basically come free with using this, um, which is super cool. The images are one of the greatest features of using SEO writing. So the content structure, the tables, all that stuff, um, and then the images and videos, um, that is what, um, you know, sets this apart from most other AI writers. The only other two that really come close and uh, do what this one does is, you know, agility and Koala. Uh, so what you could do 
with this. Uh, and what I would do is I would take the content, we're gonna open this back up. We could copy this and then we can go into Hemingway app right here, okay? And paste this in here. You're gonna see that there's 74 sentences uh, that are very hard to read. There is an automation and a way that you can rewrite these. You have to get the pro version. But even if we start rewriting these, taking some of these sentences and you could even use ChatGPT and uh, say, hey, write this in eighth grade, um, you know, readability, something like that, then you'll actually, you're gonna have to spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes doing this, but you're probably gonna get better results because you're going to go from a grade 15 right here and it's saying that we need to aim for at least a 14 or less, right? So you could actually just go and grab this right here and go and rewrite this and then take these down. So uh, that's what I would do. Um, they do have a, like on this pro version, if we wanted to rewrite, um, we would have to actually go and maybe I'll do a tutorial on this, uh, sign up for the pro and so forth. Um, but anyways, it's out, the GPT-4, super cool. Go check it out. Remember, I have a coupon for 25% um, off below if you want to go check out seowriting.ai. We will see you next time.